Well, good morning. It's Broken Hill and uh, we're about 850 kilometers north from Melbourne. Uh, quite a different uh, climate up here. Uh, big sky, big sun, big desert. And today we're going to Tibera and that's a drive of about 300 and odd kilometers, uh, partly on dirt tracks. And uh, we're in Muddy 4. Uh, Muddy 4, the uh, the good old Jeep. It's yeah. Now there's one small problem, I believe. Um, we're in a Jeep. This is the Jeep. This is a big problem. Yeah. It's like driving a billy cart with four wheels on it and the <laughs> steering is all over the place. But don't worry, we will manage somehow. Yeah, but there's another problem, and that is um, uh, we don't no. have enough fuel. It doesn't got the range, does it? Don't worry about it, Mike. Don't it's an American car. If we die, we die. Yeah, so uh, we've got to work that one out. We don't have enough range. All right, we will. I'll come to grip. I'll come to grip. There's oil wells out there we can plug Oh, into okay. One. We'll find an oil well. We can plug into one. Rock on. Well, bye bye, Broken Hill. And this is the uh, Silver City Highway. And uh, we're just going on um, one long hell of a road. It's not all bitumen either. And uh, we haven't got any fuel now for about 165 kilometers. I think there's one roadhouse. And not a lot of people live out this way. So uh, Tom's doing the driving. He seems to be doing a better job than me. He gets better fuel consumption. And um, are you happy now, Tom? You're out of um, all those traffic things. Bit of a problem with your navigation. Well, there's a lot of, you know, we're in the peak traffic this morning, you know, peak. So look, here we go. Oh, over the top. Another dip coming up. Just think in the winter time, there's water here. This is winter time. Oh, this is winter time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're actually um, in um, the end of June. Actually, we're going to do um, a trip for around about two weeks, two and a half weeks, and we're travelling probably about five thousand kilometres. And um, one Jeep, Tom, main driver, Mike, backup driver, and Cook. Uh, we have crammed this Jeep full absolutely full of everything we can think about. Beer. Yeah, oh, there's quite a bit of beer on board. We have a fridge with cold beer. So we thought that needs to be given priority and uh, it's number one priority. Uh, we have a little bit of um, food on board. Um, I guess mainly sausages. Um, and we got a gun. We can yeah, we, we got a, Tom's brought his little uh, pop gun and he reckons he's going to uh, knock off a goat or something. So, as long with fuel, we've got to find a bit of food. Um, and uh, Tom's domain is that, and I've got to cook it. So, here's to an adventure. I guess um, <laughs> we just have to go out and uh, do what we do. And during today, we've just got to drive across a road I've never been on before. In fact. From here on, I haven't been on these roads. I have flown over this area uh, a few times, and when you look down, uh, there ain't a lot of um, signs of human beings apart from a bit of mining. So uh, we are heading now north. By the end of the day, we'll be over a thousand kilometers from uh, our homes, probably about 11, 1200 kilometers. All right, well, that's over and out for the moment. Uh, take in the view. <laughs> Well, Central Australia, it's um, not just flat. There are a few rocks and hills and little valleys and the road winds round. So it's um, kind of interesting. I guess the best thing is that um, we've escaped traffic. Uh, there just is no sign of commuters, rush hour, traffic lights, roundabouts all those frustration things in driving. We're actually enjoying a drive. Well, just for um, the record, we've just gone through Fowler's Gap, and this is a brand new road. Uh, we were expecting dirt, but um, yeah, it's uh, almost like smooth, brand new freeway. Anyway, we will continue.
Okay, Tommy, we're uh, we're here at uh, the Roadhouse. Uh, what's our uh, progress today? The progress today has been we've done about 190 k's, the low 190 k's, or the pack saddle motoring. Uh, this is where you can buy a hamburger, McDonald's, and anything you want. Yeah, and you can have um, a bit of a, you can actually stay in a donga. You can have a donga if you want. Yeah, yeah you donga for those that don't know, uh, portable cabins. Port portable toilet block with a seat. <laughs> with a bed in it. <laughs> yeah, very good. Anyway, we're going to have a coffee here. Okay. Rock and roll. Rock and roll it is. Well, we're here in the Pack Horse, um, well, we'll call it Roadhouse, and we're about halfway between Tibera and Broken Hill. And it, we've been amazed how good quality the road is, and I've just learned that the road uh, will be open within the next two years completely. And we're today uh, shortly going to be driving on a brand new part of road that was only opened yesterday. So we'll be one of the first to uh, go on it. So there's about 30k of dirt. Is there still camels there? Yeah, no, there's a lot of camels. So we'll be putting, actually, when we uh, run out of petrol in our Jeep, uh, we're going to actually buy a camel. Because it's probably the only way we're going to get across the Simpson. Uh, so we'll just carry on. It's a very nice cup of coffee, by the way. Um, it's made by artificial intelligence. You put a coin in and um, it even stirs your coffee for you. Anyway, over and out. There's we're no at one the... here. This roadhouse is empty, isn't it? No, no, this is all run by robots. The whole roadhouse is run by robots. It's got a robotic um, vacuum cleaner, uh, robotic food, um, absolutely rustic, beautiful. They don't believe you. Turn the camera on. Let Yeah, well, we'll just move around and you'll see. No one here. No one here. Middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere, but it's just run by robots. Uh, we've seen a few goats, a little bit of roadkill. We're just passing on the left a um, station where you can pull in and have a break. This is the destination for the day. And we've had a few showers, but there's a bit of blue sky, so uh, looking optimistic. And it's a good forecast for uh, the next few days. Good morning, uh, day three. Uh, we're departing Tibura and we're heading for Cameron's Corner. Uh, it's about 130 odd kilometers and uh, it's all dirt road from now on. Our final destination today is Inaminka. Didn't get those beautiful photographs I was looking for with low sun, uh, but that's life. Well, we're cruising along, the road is in good condition corrugation but I think we'll survive okay we'll just make a good place yeah we filled it with fuel as well and uh, we probably mean going about 23 24 kilometers uh, it's slightly undulating a uh, beautiful sky and uh, there's obviously been some rain because um, you know the the plant life and the trees look as though they're they're not withering and brown they've got a bit of green on them so very very pleasant really enjoying it and uh, we're just cruising along at about 80 kilometers an hour uh, we're actually crossing a lake and um, Tom just mentioned where the hell's the track <laughs> uh, the trick is after rain is to stay on where the last car went across apparently yeah anyway uh, that was just a surprise we're sort of trekking along at about uh, 70 to 80 kilometers an hour and all of a sudden no track <laughs> and we go down into this lake pan dry lake pan. Uh, yeah, very different. We have seen quite a bit of uh, cattle and sheep out here. Um, not too many uh, kangaroos and we haven't seen an emu yet. 
Well, here we are, uh, parked for a, a pit stop, and um, we're about 22k from Cameron's Corner now. Uh, road's been in much better condition than we were expecting, and uh, while we're driving along at around about 70 to 80, uh, it's pretty smooth. There are some wild ruts, but not too bad. It's being graded, certainly, uh, frequently. And uh, we've almost lost all the clouds now. It's a uh, blue sky, probably about 23 degrees quite pleasant and uh, a cup of coffee coming up soon. Last few K up to uh, Cameron's Corner coming in from the uh, south and uh, we're currently in um, New South Wales uh, only a kilometre to the north of us we've got Queensland and uh, straight on it's South Australia so uh, interstate today in a big way How's it going, driver? Uh, well, mate, it's going well. Just a little bit dusty, you can't see nothing in front of us, but we're all doing all right. Ready for a cup of coffee? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've now moved into uh, South Australia. And it says the uh, road to um, Inaminka is open. And we're now going into Queensland. So they are three states in um, <laughs> less than uh, three minutes. Yeah. Oh, I've got pic pictures of that. Okay. And uh, somebody actually lives here in the middle of nowhere, guarding a big long fence. If you don't get dropped. Now let me introduce you to uh, Sandy Hi. and tell us where we are Sandy. We're at Cameron Corner, so we're the corner of Queensland, New South Wales and South Australia. Fantastic and this is a beautiful day today isn't it? Tell oh, us how she is. It's It's sandy today. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> the desert's on the ground and in the air. It is. It's been it blowing is. like absolute stink and yes. we've got to go like to... Like buggery. Tell us where we're going today. Uh, you're going to Inaminka today. On and how old, are we going to get there? On the there? old stres. On the old stres. The old stres lucky. Tell us how far we've got to go. Uh, it's about 240k. 240k and we've and got to go... And don't forget to stop at the bone statue on the way when you turn on to the old stres. And the old stres for those in America, it's the, the extra old stres. stres lucky track. And it goes where? Uh, it goes to Inaminka. There you go. Well, thank you very much, Sandy. <laughs> You've just been talking to Mike Rudd. He's a real crazy guy. <laughs> no worries. And this is the place. Look at this. This is... Wow. And Sandy is actually... Um, she's actually forced to stay here till October. She's actually chained. I can't go around the back because she's no, chained. I can't get out. That's the only way I she's. Can't get out. Yeah. <laughs> My boots are nailed to the ground. Well, Cameron Corner, Sandy, thank you very much. No worries. Bye bye. Have a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tommy and Apps and trying to pay with modern uh, technology. Well, I'm not even going to take my camera outside because uh, it has actually cleared slightly. When we came, you couldn't even see the flag flying. Uh, it is 
blowing a gale from the north again. It's even wilder than yesterday. Just when we, uh, well, actually, we've got to go west for about 100k and then north for um, the rest. And uh, we'll be battling between four and five hours, I guess. Um, there's one guy I've just spoken to and he said, I've had enough. I'm going to put my caravan, uh, chock it down and uh, go and have a sleep for a day. <laughs> Anyway, our goal is to uh, get to Im, uh, Inaminka and uh, it's now uh, just before midday. Following the uh, road due west, uh, left, left Cameron's corner about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, well, we take our hats off to those guys. They seem to have all the gear. Someone's got a lot of money paying for all those big trucks. Well, we're rattling over the, um, I think it's the Strezlecki Desert at the moment. And um, yeah, the texture of the road changes by the kilometer. We're now in a sandy bit of uh, sand dunes. Goes up and down, up and down, across a bit of a lake pan. Uh, and they are doing a bit of work on this track. Uh, they're trying to take out some of the uh, ruts. And one of the things we've noticed is the speed that some of the uh, four-wheel drives are going on this track. Uh, that's why they're getting so badly rutted. So this is all being capped. And I think it's just downright ignorance, basically. People charging along at 120 kilometers an hour and they just ruin these tracks. They don't realize that they're causing their own problems. Anyway, that's my little whinge, but it's a beautiful place to be. Um, all I can say is that it's nothing like where I live. It's nothing like what you get on an airplane and travel to Europe and get off and see. This is Outback Australia. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, it's changing, it's challenging, and um, yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, quite a big dune we're going over. Well, it is for what we've uh, seen. There we are, the view out over the desert. These dunes, by the way, are just caused by the wind. Uh, the predominant wind comes from the west and blows these dunes. Some of them are 100k long. A little bit of drift here and there. And we've got a speed of about 45. Uh, the type of road has changed dramatically. We're now on the Strezlecki track, heading north. And uh, this was actually built to service the Moomba gas basin. And um, we're getting natural gas out of this area. Moomba is... Um, well, a working town. Uh, there's no services, they don't like the public in here. Uh, it's just purely to get resource out of the ground. And uh, we'll be turning right to Inaminka. We'll be turning uh, right to yeah. Inaminka. <laughs> and our driver's got it wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll just do a Yui. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking. There we go. There's our driver. What have you just done, Tommy? Oh, I just missed the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will continue towards Inaminka, probably 100k away. <laughs> anyway, um, that means we'll be there by the time the pub opens. Good show. Uh, they have Cooper's beer there, which is a real bonus. Tom wouldn't appreciate it, but um, Cooper's on draft. Good old ale, Australian style from South Australia. Now, this is not like rural England. Maybe in America they've got deserts like this. Have they got a Jeep uh, service department? <laughs> yeah, the Jeep's getting rattled like you wouldn't believe. We 
We're now going to Inaminka. Turns lifting, Mr. Rudd is driving as you can see. Okay, well, we're turning left, so I'll put my left hand down. Yeah. Okay. Inaminka, put it forward so I can see where we're going. There we go. There's the sign in the Minka. And we've got another 40. 40 kilometers. kilometers, that's it. 48 kilometers. Yeah, that's 50k where, roughly. That's why you get lost all the time. Yep. Wow, what a ride. Well, here we are in the Inaminka pub. And uh, wow, how good is this? This is uh, travelers enjoying a beer before dinner. So uh, here we are at the Inaminka pub. And uh, Tommy, you've done a great day today. We've got a bottle of red. I'm gonna have a steak. What are we drinking? Uh, the Outback Loop 2016, you can see that. You're in uh, the middle of the desert and we're enjoying beautiful food. Uh, tomorrow we're going to where? Uh, we're going to Birdsville. Birdsville. Birdsville, that's right. Birdsville, we're going to Birdsville. And uh, we're going to meet Steve and his son. We're going to be so excited. Then we're going to cross the big desert. Well, here we are, day four, and we're on what's called the five mile, oh, 15 mile track. And um, we just run into some visitors. Hello, guys. Uh, they're saying, well, we're staying here. Come on. Up you go. Come on. Come on. It was like road master cattle. So uh, heading out of Inaminka, we've probably done about 15k. Uh, the road today is, uh, we'll say a little bit narrower than yesterday. And um, a bit longer as well, I think about 350 kilometers up to uh, Birdsville. Uh, we left at uh, about Hopper State, South Australia time. And well, the aim is to get to uh, Birdsville before it gets dark. Time will tell. But a uh, beautiful morning, and uh, yeah, everyone's happy. Come on, move your bum. Come on. Crossing. Well, 
this is it, walkers crossing the track. It's interesting to uh, be offered a different way because the normal way is to uh, broken up the track to use and uh, this is giving us uh, quite a pleasant experience. So some pretty little um, trees and um, off to the left we've got a bit of a sand dune, uh, obviously being a little bit of water around. and. Um, the track's in nice condition. Probably got about 90 um, kilometers to go before we hit uh, the Birdsville track. <laughs> He's complaining last night about um, the cost of the room and he nearly fell off his chair when they worked out how much the breakfast cost, but <laughs> he still ate it. He wasn't going to go without his little legs and his um, bacon. Yep, uh, we're at day four. And um, with a bit of luck, we might even make Birdsville uh, this afternoon. And um, actually making better progress than we initially thought. Uh, we've got 150 logged already, uh, 340 maybe to do total. So uh, yeah, we're moving along. It's actually called Walker's Crossing, the track we're on at the moment. Really interesting how the colours change. We're now um, just past midday, and this is the last bit of the um, trail up to the Bill track. First time we've had rocks and stuff to uh, work our way through. It's been more sand. The geology keeps changing. Checked out underneath the car, found we got an oil leak in the fluids with the lead from the steering. So, once we're into Birdville, we have to do a bit of a check over. Um, you can imagine the punishment we've given us over these roads. You can imagine probably a pipe's come off. But well, let's hope anyway. So, yeah, the main thing the beer didn't spill. We're in Queensland now. We started the day in uh, South Australia. Now we're in Queensland. Lucky we didn't change our watches. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we're um, just about to survive. Got a little problem with the steering box. Looks like we're going to make it. See the race course on the right. This is Birdsville, people. Have a good look at it because you'll be in and out in two seconds left. Zoom. <laughs> Birdsville Hospital. Playground, toilet. Well, I can't get over the green. Oh, that place is gone, I don't know if I tell you. Well, where's the uh, garage? I'll just. Uh... Well, you go to your hotel and we'll. No, just, just go and have a quick see what's going on, because if there's anyone there, I can have at least have a talk to them. 